everybody, it's Joy with JoyceLife.com and today I'm using the gingerbread cartridge that's brand new at Seasonal Cartridge and the 12 by 20 format and I'm cutting out all of the things that are on the cartridge. I decided to just use two colors. So here's my red and this is going to be my background and I've just punched in as many of the shapes that'll go in and here I am using, this is what I'm using and so the top part, the more intricate part, will be cut out in white. So you'll see like the outline of the sleigh will be white and everything else will be red. This is just to quickly make as many of them as I possibly can. So now I need to unload. Let me hit unload. You see I got my blue pullover on. I wear this thing all through the winter because I'm always cold. All right, here we go. Now this is as many as will go on one 12 by 24 mat, cutting them all out at three and a quarter inch. So now I just need to pop all these things out. Can you see all of those? Kind of hard to see because they're not out yet. But that's a good amount of these things. So I still need to do a few more. So I better get out another sheet of paper and do those. Hey, look at how neat that is. See all those? Fun. Look at that little train. Isn't that cute? This would be a neat cartridge to try in a Cricut cake too. Oh, and remember, this is not a Cricut cake. It's just a red Cricut expression. So I hate even talking about a cake when I've got that thing in the background because it looks like a cake. But um, these are really going to be fun. So let me take all these off the mat. I'll lay down another sheet of red paper and then cut out the rest of the items I need to cut. Here's the paper that I use. This one is by Cricut. Other people do make these huge 12 by 24 sheets of paper, but they're kind of hard to find. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. And now I'm just going to open it up and tear out another I think I've got one already loose yeah okay another sheet of paper and then we'll just put this right on the mat so here's the 12 by 24 mat and I'm gonna put the textured side up just because that's how I would prefer it there's no real reason that you have to do that and just get it all down real well okay and now I need to pull my Cricut away from the wall just a bit so it'll have enough room to accept this huge mat let me show you how to change the mat size on your Cricut Expression. Normally you've got a 12 here for the 12 by 12 mat, but if you have a 12 by 24 mat, you're going to need to change that. It's very simple. Just click this button right here that says mat size. Now you'll see that it says 24. Yay! We're all ready to go. I've already cut all the way to the train, so now we just need to do the rest of these little blacked out pieces. Luckily, with this mat being so big, I can press so many of these at one time and cut them all out, so we don't really have to worry about running out of paper. You can see that the last button that we pressed, the wreath, is right here. If you want to see everything that we've pressed, all you have to do is press these little buttons and we'll scroll back through. See, watch that. And it says wreath. Oop, I need to hit the negative one to go backwards. And now house three, because there are three houses on here. Well, actually, I think there are four. One, one's a church. That's what it is. Okay, so there's house one. Anyway, you get the idea. We can scroll all the way back, which is pretty cool. That's a great way of finding out what you had pressed before if you don't remember what buttons you hit. And I just love that little feature. So I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way back to wreath, and then we'll cut. That way I won't forget where I left off either. Now I'm just going to press cut, and we'll go ahead and finish cutting out all the rest of the things. I've noticed when you're doing the outline part, the more intricate cuts, it helps if you'll press the buttons and then give it just a second to come up in the screen. And then when it comes up, go ahead and press the next button after that. You see how slowly it comes up? The first time I did it, it wouldn't come up very quickly. Well, actually, I ended up having the little hourglass on there for a long, long time and I had to restart my machine. So don't press all of the buttons at one time when you're doing these little uh, top layer parts. Just give it a little time and it'll eventually come up. Another thing about this is after you've reached so many characters, you can press another one and you'll see it comes up and says too many characters. Well, you can actually still fit things on your mat, but the Cricut screen can't hold any more information. So you'll have to cut at that point. Okay, I'm all done. I ran into a small problem for adhesives. I usually use my Xyron for things like this where there are a lot of intricate cuts and it makes it a lot simpler because you can just run things through the Xyron, but I ran out of it. I ran out of the adhesive for it. So what I used instead for a little while was the Zig two-way glue pen and it was helpful as well, but my really favorite thing that I used was white vinyl. 
Let me show you how one of these looks in white vinyl. The one on the left, right here, is in white vinyl, and the one here is actually just paper. I just like the look of this better. I think it looks a lot neater. Now, to be fair, I did use a different kind of red paper under here than I did on this one, so that also accounts for part of the look, but I like how simple it is to use vinyl, and I also did that on the candy cane right here, and it's just nice and easy because after you weed the vinyl and everything, you can just go ahead and apply it to the paper. If you don't have an adhesive or anything like that, it's very simple. So that was fun for me, but I hurt vinyl, so <laughs> that's why I used it. Okay, let me show you the rest of the things. Well, there's the rest of it. I just love these. I love that little train. Isn't that train cute? I also used vinyl on that one, and um, this one is paper. Oops, a little adhesive overkill on that one, but this one is vinyl. So I just love these. I think this was a really fun cartridge to use and I've got them all laid out just like they are on the back of the little gingerbread cartridge there. So these were really pretty easy to do. I also did the ones from the Trim the Tree cartridge and they were really hard. So if you're looking for something fast and easy, this is a great cartridge. I'm going to use these to make some Christmas tags. So that'll be fun. And they're all ready. So yay for me. I can get started with Christmas. Now to do the Christmas shopping. Anyway, you guys have a great day and keep coming to see me at joyslife.com. Bye. Bye.